What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Under Further Review. Uh, for UFR Short, today we are talking about the trade deadline. NBA trade deadline just happened. Uh, a lot is going on in the league. Yeah. Um, so we want to know who y'all think or who we thought won the trade deadline. So what are your thoughts, Chris? Man, uh, that's a great question. The first team that comes to mind for me has to be the Denver Nuggets. Mm. Um, they like really on the cusp. Of yeah, it. like they're, they're right there. And yeah. I think about a team that, that didn't start out super strong and is kind of developing throughout the season and has a superstar. Like Jokic is one of the best players in the yeah. league, in my opinion. He's, you know, top six, top seven yeah. um, overall. And this season, he's really the front runner for the MVP, now that LeBron and Embiid are hurt, in my opinion, at least. Yeah. And I think they needed an additional piece. Mm -hmm. Jamal Murray hadn't been playing like his typical self. At least he didn't at the beginning of the season. He's kind of coming along now. And I think adding someone like Aaron Gordon really just fills in a gap yeah. that they didn't have, that they had earlier. Um, like they have... Uh, scores they have shooters but they didn't really have kind of that guy who's a, a wing slash big defender who can mm -hmm. also shoot yeah um, you know how important those kind of three and D guys mm -hmm. are now in yeah. the league and Gordon think, don't get a lot of credit either yeah you know, he it, wasn't in, in uh, Orlando he'll, he'll, he'll get that shine now exactly man yeah. and an elite athlete so I think he just brings something different to the yeah. table for, yeah. for Denver and there I know in that six uh, seventh range, and I think that may bump them up a little bit yeah. for the rest of the season. What, what do you think? Yeah. Who do you think won? Them? That's an interesting one. I, I think you know Denver has some good pieces. I still, I mean, that the West is is just crazy. Yeah, so, that's real. But, but you never know. You never know what'll happen when the playoffs come. So I think they yeah. can compete. But for me, I'm gonna go to the East. I'm gonna say uh, Miami. I think Miami won mm. a trade deadline. Yeah, I think. Um, I think they had a strong, obviously they had a strong team that made it to the finals, even though they were in a bubble, but they've got yeah. a lot of chemistry. They got a lot of playmakers and shooters, but then they added Victor Oladipo right. in, this, uh, in this trade by the trade deadline. And he playing out his mind this year, even though he was in Houston and they, you know, yeah. they weren't having a great year. He's averaging like 20, 20 a game. Yeah. Like almost five, six, seven rebounds. And they ain't give up nothing. And that's what I'm saying, him. nothing yeah. to get them. So right. they, you know, they get that additional piece uh, that additional player that can score at will, and they've already got uh, Bam and, and uh, Jimmy, and yeah. um, you know they've got shooters, obviously. So I think that might take them over the top in the East. Mm -hmm. I, obviously, I think people think the Nets are going to be yeah. you know that team to, to yeah. beat, or maybe Milwaukee, but East ain't typically you know the the hardest or the strongest. So yeah. um, I think they added a piece that will really put them at top notch to be able to contend with the Nets. So it'll be interesting. Yeah, to see. yeah, no question. That's a great point, man. Like I think about some of the teams who made moves and some people who were big names who people thought were going to move like yeah. Ronzo or yeah. um, Kyle Lowry. Like, do you feel like there's a team who won the um, trade deadline because of a move that didn't happen? Like mm. a team that wound up benefiting because someone didn't move. And mm. I guess for me, just to answer on, on that end, I feel like the Nets probably, I'm, I'm not the Nets, I'm sorry, the Clippers mm -hmm. probably saw a big benefit to, yeah. to seeing the Lakers probably not get yeah. another big um, mm -hmm. through the trade deadline, but there's possibility they could get drumming from the buyout market, so yeah. you never know. But I feel like they were like the ones that came to mind like, okay, the Clippers are like in that upper echelon in the West. The Lakers are by far the best team in my opinion. Like right. they, they don't have as much talent as the Nets, but as a team, mm -hmm. like they're the best put together. And if they were to get another big, it would have been rat, a wrap for yeah. everybody. But what, what do you they think? Didn't need Anybody it, yeah. came to um, mind? For me, I think it's I think a team that didn't make many moves. They made moves, but it wasn't for for guys. I think they were mm -hmm. looking long term, and I think it'll play out well for them. Is Orlando? Yeah. Like uh, they got rid of a lot of people. Um, obviously, because I mean they've been there for a while and yeah. they ain't really had success, so they got rid of that month, got rid of those dudes, and they're gonna probably start fresh. And yeah. you know, with these new classes coming in, and it's gonna be some some dudes coming into the league soon. Yeah. I think it'll fare well for them, um, you know, for those draft picks. So um, I think that they made the necessary moves to set themselves up to be relevant, like in the next couple of years. Yeah. And um, that's like a win-win because yeah. Chicago is like in the mix, mm -hmm. like they could 
you know, get above where they were with Zach Levine yeah. and Vucevic and them dudes. So I feel like that's positive. And like you said, Orlando can just do another restart. That's what I'm saying. Maybe they get a Shaq or maybe yeah. they get a, a Dwight Howard yeah. in, in the upcoming And, you season. know, you can't necessarily just tank in the season anymore because they kind of changed the rules on the draft right. lottery. So I think they did it the right way in, in, in getting those picks and being able to be flexible with those moving forward. So yeah. I'm going to say Orlando is, is going to be a team to watch out for, like, in the next couple of years. Mm. So. That's my take. Not mad at it at all, man. Everybody can't be OKC. OKC has like 17 picks in the next five yeah. years yeah. or something crazy. So, they need them, though. Yeah. They, they, they blew it big time a couple years yeah, ago. Yeah, they big did, time. man. They did. So, and like you said, I like I like Orlando kind of saying we're going to hit the reset button yeah. for sure. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, let us know. What are y'all's thoughts? Who do you think won the trade deadline? Who do you think lost it? Who do you think blew it by not making a move or uh, getting some addition to their team? Throughout the trade deadline. Love to hear y'all's thoughts down in the comments. See y'all in the next one.